So the first card is the bell. There's some announcement that is coming. Um, and it might be uh, something to do with honor and respect that will come to you. So there's some, some sort of accolade, some sort of award coming to you. And it'll come in the form of an announcement. Uh, you are dealing with a relationship with a man. So there might be some man that is very plays in a very important role in your life uh, right now. So in the past, you've got the fox and you've got shrewdness, resourcefulness, especially in business. So you needed to be very shrewd in your business life. Uh, and uh, somebody is leaving your life. So uh, maybe a, a friend or somebody that you were quite close to quite close to has vacated your life and you know you're feeling that sense of uh loss of feeling that sense of emptiness or feeling that sense of um you know that you've lost a friend so uh, there is that uh that sense going through you uh maybe you're missing that person quite a bit so going into the future you've got the table hard work ahead so some um difficult times coming up you're going to have to work pretty hard and you've got the nest over here, an emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. So you are concentrating on your family and needing to work pretty hard as well in your work life. So family life and work life, both important. And you're trying to probably balance that energies between the two of them at this particular moment. But you are getting recognition for whatever you've uh, done so far. And you're getting a lot of respect as well coming in with your job. So those are the energies for that week. So you've got the Ten of Swords over here. Uh, maybe you're ending a very, very difficult situation that you've been working in. So maybe working under a lot of pressure, working under a person who has been a tyrant, uh, you know, making you do things, uh, you know, maybe that you're not have very happy doing, uh, having you in submission. But that cycle is coming to an end. Uh, you know, this person seems to have been, um, you know, quite a bully, a quite person quite an authority. And, uh, you know, there doesn't seem to be much freedom uh, to think or do whatever you want. But that cycle seems to co be coming to an end because it's the Ten of Swords. So, um, you know, an ending of a very difficult situation that you're facing right now. So what's going on with you? You are seeing partial success from whatever you've been working at. You can see a lot of collaboration happening over here, but whatever you've been putting in that pot to cook is now, uh, you know, starting to show results. There's a lot of bubbles coming. So, you know, you can see that, you know, you're partially on your way to achieving whatever you want. Uh, whatever work you've, whatever effort you've put into it is starting to, uh, um, bring results. And you can see with the Sun card, there it will be achievement. There's a lot of hard work with the, the Sun card, but it is a card that is talking about work and your focus is on your work and it looks like you are going to be achieving your your whatever you want with this little tree in his hand over here. So you are going to be achieving the things that you want. And um, even though it's taking a lot of hard work, and I know you're not as Virgo, you're not really afraid of hard work. That is the sign of work. Um, and it is a sign of focusing on that. You've got your mind firmly focused on your work and you will achieve whatever you need to achieve. You're already starting to see results. So in the past year, you've um, maybe you've had a loss with the Six of Swords. Usually follows the Five of Swords where there's, you know, loss and betrayal. Uh, but it looks like there's new hope that has come in for you. So you had some new information that you stumbled across and that's allowed you to move away uh, from that old situation into something more positive. Now you have spent a lot of time in this last few months just concentrating on your work and that is where your focus has been. You can see with this Eight of Swords, uh, you know, honing in on your skills and uh, improving, um, you know, whatever you've been doing. You maybe you're specializing in something at the moment, but you're really very, very work oriented, very work focused. Uh, it seems like nothing else is important to you at the moment. And it's because you want to achieve everything that you want to achieve. You've got the Queen of um, Cups over here, very, uh, you know, stable. You can see she's uh, very stable with all these homes and family. So you want a family, a stable family life, but you also want material security. So you want emotional and material security right now. So going into the future, you've got uh, the Knave of Cups. There's a lot of uh, some help coming in for you here. Uh, they might be studying. Uh, with cups, um, Knave of Cups always talks about studying, taking extra educational courses. But it could also mean that, you know, you have unexpected help, unexpected support coming in. So somebody whom you didn't think would be there to stand by you is going to be there to advise you, guide you, assist you in whatever you're doing. 
And uh, you've got the Ace of Swords over here as your card. So, you know, you are going to achieve and win. And this is a very victorious card. Uh, you know, whatever problems, you are going to be a person who conquers it all with this Ace of Swords. There's a new sunrise over there and a, a lot of stability being achieved. And, you know, you're saying, you're planting your sword firmly in it. So you're saying exactly what you need to say. And you are coming across as being a very powerful person and a very stable person, but also a person who um, is a winner. A, you know, this is a very victorious card in this deck. Uh, what's going on around you? There might be some sort of legal issues uh, that you're dealing with at the moment. Maybe some uh, contracts, court cases, something that you're dealing with at the moment, and you're waiting uh, for a decision to be made. So uh, pending a decision, uh, it seems like there's some legal issues going on around you. Um, so what you're hoping for is, uh, you know, to have a bit more time to socialize with the Six of Cups. Maybe you are um, uh, planning on getting together with old family, with family, friends, uh, you know, getting together and enjoying this uh, festive season coming on. So you are making some plans uh, uh, to uh, reconcile with uh, family or friends. So going into the future, you've got the Ten of Pentacles, the Judgment card and the Six of Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles, it's talking about ending an old job that you're doing. So maybe you're not too happy in this particular job. Maybe there's a promotion coming up because this is the end of an old work cycle and the beginning of something new. You might be having a little bit of financial problems over here, uh, you know, where you're needing a little bit of financial support, maybe from your family. But it looks like the old job situation or that old situation that you were involved in is now come to an end. Uh, that cycle is not closed. So if you are having any problems, that seems like it will resolve itself and it looks like you will move on to something brand new. So that end of that cycle. And it looks like you will because you've got the judgment card of here. This is a 20. So it's talking about definitely a, a change in your pop, in your life pop, being victorious and achieving things that you want to achieve and then moving on to something new. So it looks like, you know, you are going to be changing direction, changing course, making a decision soon. And um, you still have uh, a little bit of money worries over here. So you are watching your spending and you're making sure maybe you feel like that job that you're doing is not paying you sufficiently. And maybe this is the reason why you want to make that change, because you're still having to scrimp and save. And, you know, you're not getting uh, a good remuneration for the work that you're putting in. So the effort is not paying off. And maybe this is the reason why you want to change jobs and move on to something else. Um, and it looks like, you know, you're going to have advice and help on how to actually be able to move on if that is the way you want to go. But it looks like you've made up your mind and you do want to move on. It looks like things are going to start paying off and you are going to get into something that will be, uh, better for you. So if you make that decision to move and it looks like you have made that decision with 10 of pentacles, whatever comes in next will give you a lot of uh, recognition, but a lot of money will come in because you've got the sun card coming in over here. But it is going to take a lot of hard work. Uh, so the hard work is not over yet, uh, but you will achieve whatever you need to achieve. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the animal tarot. So you've got uh, the strength card in here, which says... Um, True strength is displayed through kindness, forgiveness, compassion, and you have um, tremendous personal power and courage. So you need to make some bold moves over here um, in order for you to achieve whatever you want to achieve. So if you're going to do something, you know, you need to take risks and you need to do it. So you can't sit back and let things happen. You need to actually be very proactive with the strength card. The second card is the Eight of Autumn, which says the perfect time to learn all you can by returning to school, taking a seminar or conducting research. Do your best work and the law of attraction will bring you prosperity and career advancement. So it looks like, you know, uh, maybe you, uh, the next career move that you're going to make, you're going to go back and doing some studying. Um, you know, it's going to be something that frees you. You can see this cage door open uh, and it's going to be something that allows you to get on uh, in your career. So you might be doing some seminars, some courses, something that actually improves your skill base in order for you to move forward. So your nose back in the books again, a lot of hard work there, as I was saying. And um, you've got the awakening card over here, which is the giraffe, which says, Look at things in a different way and all will make sense. Don't worry about your progress. If your progress is halted temporarily, things will st soon start moving. So this is usually the card of the hangman, the awakening card. And it's usually when you reach a point where you make a decision, um, you know, it's, it is also a card of a turning point in your life. So you've got two turning point cards over here, one being uh, the judgment card and the other one being awakening. And, you know, they're, they're almost complementary to each other. You start looking at your life and saying things are not going the way I want to. So uh, you undergo an awakening. You have a, a more 
uh, a greater understanding. Things come to light in your head. And when that happens, then you take on this uh, energy of the judgment card where you actually physically make that move. So you are undergoing a transformation over here. And it's a personal transformation that you're bringing about. It's nothing outside of... Um, there are no outside forces causing you to go through this change. Your life lessons are allowing you to uh, naturally make this change where you go through an awakening and then you go through a whole transformation where you change. You, you go towards the path uh, that is best suited for you. So you're reaching that phase of a turning point in your life and you're. it seems like you know, you're know you taking control back of your situation again. So a little bit of uh, worries about money uh, and work, uh, but it looks like you're reaching a phase where you are going to make a big change. Uh, with this Ace of, Pen um, of Swords in, in your um, energies, it looks like, you know, you are willing to uh, risk it all and you're willing to, um, and you will come out on top. So whatever big change you're going to go through now is going to be very successful and it's going to be for your own personal growth and you're not going to be worried about anybody else's input it seems like you're doing this now finally for yourself and it looks like with the sun card there will be a lot of success uh, coming your way soon